Hello Stampers, this is Tina Shaw and this is my first ever video and we're going to see how it goes. Today I'm going to make this cute little Easter card and this one is using the Easter or the Basket Bunch stamp set and I used this little bunny, the little eggs and an Easter treat for somebody sweet is the little sentiment that I used. So I'm going to set that aside. I made this one with Blushing Bride. And now I'm going to make one out of um, white, of course, and Marina Mist. So let's get started. This is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. And so I'm going to fold that on the crease and use my bone folder to get a nice crisp fold. And then I'm going to take <coughs> um, a piece of DSP. This is unfortunately from the uh, Celebration Freebies and it was called, uh, what's it called? Inside the Lines Designer Series Paper. So if anybody wants some, I do have a little extra. And so first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of 4x4 four four Marina Mist cardstock and a 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths piece of the designer paper. I'm going to use my Tombow and I'm going to put that right on. That doesn't look right. Okay, a 4x4 four four and a 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And that should layer right on there like that. So there's that piece. And I'm going to set these two aside. And then I'm going to take, uh, this is a two and a half inch circle that I cut out using my two and a half inch circle punch. And I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to use my black. Uh, archival ink pad and I'm just going to ink up the little bunny and I'm going to stamping right in the center of the circle and that's so cute and now what I do next is um, I just take a piece of scrap white paper and I stamp another little bunny like that. And then I just take my paper snips and I just cut it out. So to save time, I already have one cut out. And I'm gonna take and put that right over the bunny. I've got the um, removable Tombow, which is right here on the back to hold him on there. And then I need a sponge, and I'm going to sponge them with Marina Mist. And as you can see, my last one was Blushing Bride, but so now I have a little pink bunny on there. And I'm going to open up my ink pad, and I'm going to get me just a little bit of ink on there. And what I want to do is just sponge mostly around his little ears. On his head. It's a little bit down here, so I don't want the whole thing to be sponged, but just a little color on there. And I like to go in a circular motion. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. So we're going to pull it off, and there he is. How cute is that? Okay, so now I already cut out um, using the circle framelits and these are the scallop framelits and um, I got the one that would fit over the two and a half inch circle so I think it's two and seven eighths inch scallop so I'm going to take my scallop and I'm going to take my little bunny and I'm going to use some dimensionals that right here. I'm just going to pop a few on the back and then 
I'm going to take and stick this piece onto one more onto my blue scallop circle like so right there now come take back my card I'm going to find my little eggs they're so cute now I'm going to take my black ink pad again I'm going to ink up the little eggs I'm going to stamp it across the bottom like that and one more time across the bottom finish it out with three more and there we go cute and now I'm going to take the little saying I'm going to put this on here just so I can see where I want to stamp my little saying at so I want it to be about right here Using my photopolymer, I can see right where I want to place it. And now I'm going to use some Marina Mist ribbon that I brought over here. Here it is. And actually, this is retired Marina, but I didn't have any that was in right at the moment, so I used my old. This is going to be for my grandson for Easter, little Cody. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to tie a knot right there like that. Slide it over and I'm going to take my good ribbon scissors and trim my little tails like that. I want this one just a little bit shorter like that. Okay, and now I'm just going to put on some Tombow on the back. Like that. And I'm going to put that right on there. Just so it has a nice little layer around it. Like that. Oops. Now I'm going to take my little bunny. Now on my pink one, I just used my Blushing Bride marker and filled in his her ears and her little bow, her nose. So for this one, I think I'll still use the pink on his ears. Like this. Maybe his nose, but I'm gonna do the tie in blue. How cute. And then I actually did a couple of little flowers uh, with a marker, just to add a little spot of color. Mm, let's see, what other one do I want to do? Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. How about this one? Doesn't have to be perfect. Nice. We want it nice. Okay, and then one more. Like that. Okay, now what I did was I took a couple of um, smaller rhinestones. Well, actually, three. And put them right in the center. Where did I put my little pokey guy? I don't know. And so I just took it and put it right there. Because I always like to have some bling on my cards. Mm -hmm. Two. I could have gone over and got a new pack of rhinestones, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, and then this is going to go right here. Cute. And again, I'm going to pop it up with dimensionals. Yeah, go for it. 
I like to have lots of dimensionals. You really don't need to have that many. I just like to. So, now I'm just going to pop the bunny about right there. And now I'm going to take my marker again. And I'm just going to color in oh, some of the little eggs here. Just add a little color. Like so. You can color yours however much you want to. And then one more over here. And there's the front. And there's the little bunny card. All right, let me know what you think. Have a good day.